So here we are, 4.5 factoring a quadratic leading coefficient greater than 1, problem type 2. Doing the same thing as before, so I get 70. So what multiplies to give me 70 but adds to give me the middle guy, um, positive 17. And I'm going to put the y there. Um, and so then I know these are going to both have y's, right? We just need to figure out the numbers. So break up the 70. 70 is 1 times 70, 2 times 35, 3 does not go in, 4 does not go in, 5 is 14, 6, no, 7 does, 8, no, 9, no, and 10 is already on the list. So we've already got all of the factors. Which of them add to give me 17? That would be these. Now if the numbers come to you naturally without having to do the whole list, then run with it. As long as it works here, then you've got them. You've just thought of them on your own and you got them. But if you're in the dark as to what the numbers should be, then do this list because this gives you all of the possibilities that you could have. So I know it's going to be 7 and 10, 7 and 10, and I need a positive 17. So they both need to be positive. And if they both are positive, they do give me 70. And if you throw the y here and you throw the y here, you get y squared when you multiply, right? Well, if I take 10y squared times a positive 7, I do get 70y squared. So if you want to use the variables in there, you could. It's just not necessary because all we're doing is playing with numbers to try to figure out what those numbers are that multiply to give you 70, but add to give you 17. The only reason that you would throw in the variables is so that when you split the 17, you remember that they have to have y's on them, okay? So that would be positive 7y and positive 10y. And then bring down the plus 7 on the end, bring down the 10y squared on the end. These two have a y in common, so 10y plus 7. Um, these guys have nothing in common, so factor out a 1. You do have to bring down the middle sign. Um, I end up with 10y plus 7. And then they both have 10y plus 7 in common. And when I factor that out, I'm left with y plus 1. So this is the final factorization.